Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut your ass up. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Welcome back. King's Choice Gaming. As you can see, my hunter right now looks incredible. Y'all are thinking, hmm, I wonder what his light level is. Let's go check it out. Boom! Level 14. Light power. 172, bro. We made it. And guess what? I got a little surprise for y'all. About to get my subclass. Let's go get that right now. Um. So for this stream, I won't start until I get my subclass. So what? How? I can take as long as I want here. I will do a one-hour stream though. So after I finish this, that's when that one hour starts, and we're just gonna sail through this because this is destiny, and that's what I do. Destiny's great. Some of y'all are probably thinking, oh, the light cap was 11, though. Why'd you get all the way to 14? Because since I played the story twice already now, I remembered that there's a level gap. After you finish your mission on IO and you have to make an assault, you have to be level 16. So I'm like, hmm, if I'm on, before I get to IO, if I get to 14, when I'm done on IO, I might be level 16. And if I'm not and I'm 15, it's just one level to gain. Nothing major. This forest again. Well, I can't say our last visit wasn't memorable. Let's see what we can find. Let's go. We are definitely somewhere else in the EDZ right now. I believe they called this area the sludge. Hmm, I wonder why called the sludge it's, it's an interesting name because the whole EDZ is a sludge it's, it's like a swamp and, you know everything's mashed up you know broke up in things you know because I know Patois they must use it <laughs> <laughs> yes as you guessed it I am I am dark skin I am black I am a Jamaican and I live in Canada because can Canadians are very pleasant people, unlike Americans. You don't understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Look at rap music while I'm playing. I listen to that still. But as I was saying, gotta love the ambiance. Hey, do you see that over there? The light. Oh, it's one of those light projections. And it's with Cade this time. All I can think is, if Rasputin had all those mighty tools and it lost, what did it learn? My nigga Cade, is that it, bro? You're supposed to be teaching me shit. Teaching me the ways of the gunslinger. Oh, how do you know it's gunslinger, bro? Dog, my subclass shows red. Orange, I should say. What's it gonna try this time around? When I hear about the Dust Palace and those Scion Flayers getting into Rasputin's mind, I wonder, what would they talk about? Rasputin and those creatures. Because I was a servant too. I was an instrument of war, bound to the will of a lesser master, but I learned to be something more. Okay, that was a little bit better than the first one. We're getting some more. She leaves the rifle and walks across the naked obsidian into the swarm, firing from the hip as she goes, each kick of the old revolver a word. The stone smokes around her where the arc fire lashes it, and the shrapnel guns throw up leaves of obsidian like glass butterflies. She shoots her bandoliers dry, and a team of vandals in glassy stealth leap up to rush her with knives, but she raises her hand and burns them down with the golden gun, laughing. I like it when they bring in new characters into Destiny. Gives the game more depth. Fallen don't mean shit. Look how well my weapon is firing. Me. You die. Oh, you don't want to die? Now you are.
kill a couple behind you. Run for me. Look, he's already weak. This game's all about strategizing. How do you expect to win a battle if you can't strategize? Easy shit. Take out this vandal one time. Don't wanna die. Now you're dead. As you can tell, I'm a very dangerous testing player. PvE is where my skills lie. Unfortunately, it's not in the PvP range, but I will work on that one day because PvP is something I want to conquer. I think these At least the flawless ones. Flawless ones. Think of how mysterious the system is, I said. How much life sprang up when the Traveler came. Like the Ahamkara. Do you know the legends? The dragon that made promises? And I pulled out the fossil with a flourish. She pulled out her knife and started to pick the dirt from her nails. That set me off. You could never have brought down one of these, I said, ever. Not the greatest hunter, not the brawniest titan. Her eyes narrowed. She said, oh, is that so? And I saw right then that she wasn't going to pass on the challenge. That woman earlier and that guy, I want to know who they are. My old friend Andal, he used to stand right here, right in this spot. He'd come up with these wild stories. He'd say, you know, Cade, I've been examining the evidence personally. I've come to think it's you. You're Rasputin, legendary war mind, defender of Earth. And I wish you'd remember that so you could reclaim your full power and save us all. You can see how that'd be embarrassing. I know exactly about that. I know, I know that story perfectly about Andal. Guys, Andal was previously the Hunter Vanguard. Unfortunately, he died by Tanix's hand, which is why Cade 6 is the new Hunter Vanguard. He lost the bet. So I say what I want to say every day. It's no secret. I say, well, I'll go find it then. I'll go tell Rasputin we need its help. And Akura looks at me with one of those looks that you know. Sometimes you talk to Akura and you just think, wow, you're not even using a fraction of your brain on me, are you? One of those looks. She says, Cade, the problem isn't just that we can't find Rasputin. The problem is it's not clear to any of us that Rasputin wants to be found. That's a good point, because if Rasputin would want to be found, he would have shown his face already. Rasputin continues to hide, and we want to figure out why he stays hidden. Maybe he understands the battle between traveling the darkness and he stays dormant until when he's absolutely needed. Which is why I think Destiny 3 would be an amazing game. Personally. Another shard of the traveler. But we're not alone. I want my light back. Get out of my way. I love how I upgraded my skill tree and I go from a knife to a fist. I like that. I like that a lot. The reason being that I absolutely can't stand it. The knife lunge is so annoying. That was the one thing I hated about Hunter in Destiny. Leave us everybody. I'm sure of it. Oh. Let's see how well the golden gun is going to work now. Oh, that's sexy. If you're a Destiny 1 dude and you know what the golden gun is, you are going to enjoy this. You are going to enjoy it a lot. Gave us a gift. We've got our golden gun back. Oh, give me something to kill. See, for the golden gun, it's a little bit different. 
I gotta let the enemies come to me for both of them to be useful and effective. So I'm gonna be taking some heavy fire, but God, I got it one jump. Blue see. Three shots. Oh, it's really slow. Everyone's saying you should go down fast. Got time to do one. Bad melee is the thing that I prefer something else like the fist. The reason being that it's every time like in Destiny One I had everyone had that screw up where I think you use your um, your smoke grenade and you have to do the melee instead and it was super annoying. This was for the tether type or uh, hunter, I should say, by the way. Y'all gonna come to me or what? Oh! Hello, big boy! Come for cheese! I don't talk about it. You're about it. Now every time I see these portals, I'm I'm I have the theory that those are taken rifts. And I believe the Taken and Traveler have similarities in their power. I'm sure the Traveler called us to the forest deliberately. It's amazing That's what that I even believe. a corrupted shard can still do so much good. Looks like that little mission took us 15 minutes. That's okay. I can move on to Io. Have fun in Io. It's a really good hand cannon, but I'm still not a hand cannon person. I hate the pistol and the hand cannon so much. Anyway, continue the story. 
The whole place hums with energy left behind by the Traveler's unfinished work. No wonder Guardians considered this site sacred, now that Kate is back in the fold. All we need is to find Ikora, make the Vanguard whole again, and bring down the Almighty. All right, 15 minutes in the stream. Let's begin our one hour now. And we find Ikora. My guardian, my hunter with the fresh eyes. Of all the places I've been in all the years since my rebirth, this is where I return. The last place the Traveler touched. I came for answers. I stand here still with nothing. Ikora, Zavala is forming a resistance. And he believes... What good is a resistance when you are the only one who would survive? I believe this goal creature knows the Traveler blessed this site. I believe he sent his legion to find something they could never possibly understand. And I believe they will continue to desecrate all we hold sacred. Save this place, Guardian. Do not squander this second chance. I really do enjoy the Destiny 2 cutscenes. It is a huge step from what it was in Destiny 1. From vanilla destiny to crota or what's it called the dark below dlc house of wolves dlc taken king dlc it's always been a step up for destiny and i always enjoy a step up i always enjoy watching a game grow and develop into something greater Red Legion ships have been in and out non-stop since I got here. We need to know what they're doing. Get into that base. Look at the sky. What is that, Ikora? Energy. The Traveler's energy. What have they done? This is my fault. I could have stopped this. Ikora, there's no way. Not without your light. I am more than just my light. I could have tried. I should have tried. But after all these years, dying, being reborn, dying again, the Traveler has left me with one life. And I am afraid to lose it. That might happen anyway. Gaul has a weapon that can blow up our sun. What? Why would he destroy what he's worked so hard to conquer? Get into that base. There must be answers there. It's funny. People look at this game and it's like, when you die, it's just whatever. You know, it's nothing special. It's, it's nothing major. I'm not wrong, by the way. When, we, when everybody played Destiny 1, we all had the same thought. You know, just dying, being revert, rebirthed, and you know, when it came to raids, you know, you just wipe and you just revive again. That's not the case anymore. People say this a lot, but they don't understand that in this game, that I, I, I get that people say like, you know, you die, you get reborn over and over and over and it's just pointless. But take a look at the, the Zavala trailer for Destiny 2 
and his story and how he became the commander and leader of all the Titans. By dying and getting rebirth, finding new weapons that the Fallen has taken from other people, you know. But look how it psychologically changed him. It turned him into a leader. Yes, space magic was a major factor. But, you know, when you think about it, dying and being reborn over and over again, although that would never happen in real life, it does change a person. For example, in real life, dying and reborn in Destiny, what would that be? Failure. When you fail something, when you fail to do something, does it does it mean your life is over? No. It's basically like Destiny took the concept of failure and flipped it and turned it into something it more. Like the Legion's packing up, Ikora. Find out what they're shipping. We need every scrap. Like when you them. fail a test, for example. Do you fail the class? No. Unless you keep failing and failing and failing. Then you have to redo the class and then you finally understand everything. Then you pass. Isn't that what a raid is? I mean, I'm just I'm just spitballing here, but isn't that what a raid is? Isn't that the very essential point of what a raid is? From the trial and the error. That's the traveler's raw Keep in mind, trial and error would never happen in school, especially for like a math class or science. Well, science, eh, it could happen. Same with music, but it's that's not the main point. Trial and error is not the main point. What I'm trying to say is that everything is connected. Everyone's gone. Keep looking. It's not like the everything is so connected. Space, just a There's a reason for everything. We're There's a reason why a these things drill. happen. A drill? Are they mining the traveler's energy? But basically, it's not it can't give the traveler's blessing. Not to failure not to and death okay. and rebirth are the same. You can relate them both from the game to real life. The one thing English class taught me when I was in high school, how to make connections. I'm pretty good at it. Making connections from something fake to something real. I don't know. My thought at least. And I know what these are. What's wrong? Taken rips. Defensive wards too. The taken. Take him back. I believe this is my favorite enemy faction. is dead the taken will always be drawn to the traveler's energy they are no longer fallen or hive or cabal or exchange them with the dark powers he stole wait is gaul's plan to do the same but with the light that has to be it Mining the Traveler's remnant energy in the hopes of transforming himself and the Red Legion into wielders of the light. If he succeeds, he will become immortal. Unstoppable. We have to tell Savala. Meet me outside. 
Meet me outside. Hmm. Catch me outside. I'm, out I'm so sorry, guys. I really shouldn't have said that. I, I sincerely apologize and for getting a little bit too ghetto on you guys. It was unnecessary and uncalled for, and that is my mistake. I will take full responsibility in the comments for my actions. Okay, I'm playing. Like, okay, let's be real. I was just spitballing. Taken are conjuring some kind of portal. Stop them! Doubtless those mindless vermin intend to summon every last one of their spectral friends to devour this moon. One thing I learned about the Taken, never play around with the Phalanxes, they, they, will, they will fuck you up. Take a closer look. We definitely didn't close it. Ah, remedy this mess, you fools! Oh, rude. It's really cool, I'm not down here fighting with her. Am I inside a blight? I'm inside of a chicken blight fighting pigeon. Or White screen, hurts, shit. Portals closed. We're clear. Ikora, I know this place is important to you, but there's nothing for me here on Io. I have yeah, one life left yeah. to give, and I will give it gladly to stop Gaul. We leave now. Don't be so hasty. Ikora Ray, we must talk. And as for you, meddling guardian. I have a few choice things to say to you. What's that guy's name? Asher Mur? What the hell does he have to say to us? I always took him for a prick.
when it comes to this game, it's just, it's just interesting to play. You just, you learn so much about the lore. I'm, I'm a sucker for a good story. I love a good story. I love a good game with a good story, which is why I love Halo, Gears, you know, games with good stories, basically. That's it. I, unfortunately, I haven't played a lot of games, but I have played the ones that I thought were good. Has a plan to attack the so-called Almighty, a plan unsupported by any data. However, there are remnants of an old interplanetary defense network here. We shall use it to assess the Almighty's capabilities. Then we will tell. Zavala, precisely why his plan is wrong. And oh, I will relish that. Meanwhile, I refuse to squander valuable research opportunities. Therefore, you shall be my assistant. Go, all this talk wastes my time. Yes, go. Still fed his arm, Tom. I'm pretty sure the Vex on this planet took his arm. Or I think it was a strike boss that did that actually. I'd love to go do that public event, but it's just so far. Oh, Zer's here. He's on this planet. That was an Axiom Bolt, and I hate those to death. King's Fall introduced me to why I hated them. With a strong passion. It's good to sit back, kick back, and stretch your legs and play some Destiny. Wow, it's only been two minutes? Damn, moving quick. I don't know, I might go past an hour since we're already 20 minutes. Well, we have 28 minutes left. see what happens if I'm if I'm enjoying myself I'll continue if not ah well okay war mind oh, yeah there's a war mind on this planet I just need to figure out how many war mines are there in total originally we were told that there's four one on each main planet, Earth, Moon, Venus, and uh, Mars. Not the case anymore because Saturn's moon, specifically Io, has a war mind on it. So, how many war minds are there? Specifically. He's level 14 and he has a sparrow. That asshole must have bought it from Tess Evers and wasted his currency. I ran the wrong way because I was going towards that, uh... Is that guy doing it? I think he is. He might have died. Let's go lend a hand in this. Taken are drinking something from the ground. I don't care who's drinking what. Hurry up and deal with them. Unfortunately, we weren't going to be able to come here in time because the event's over. Did we fail? No, it's completed because everything's done. I'm just Give me the news! Give me the news! I'm a bad man! That'll be all. You're very welcome. <laughs> Not much loot though. Since it is a failure technically. What are we going 
go in here? No, we don't. I think we're supposed to take a left around this corner. And continue on, there's a wizard. Ah, uh, we're supposed to go through here. As we all know, Zavala plans to attack the Almighty. Typical Titan idiocy. I'm sure he thought, ah, Gaul has a Sun Destroyer. I don't need a plan. I'll simply headbutt it. It's desperation, Asher. Zavala has forgotten who he might die. His final death. Head toward the heart of the energy mining operation, Guardian. We'll use a war mine, part of an interplanetary defense network, to scan the Almighty. The intelligent Ikora never fails. I we're close, but so are the Taken. Vex, too. Pay them no heed, assistant. You and I can deal with them later. Ikora, we found another drill. This one's big. Really big. Good. That drill pierced an entrance to the war mine vault. The scanner's inside. Gotcha. Let's find the drill controls and get it out of the way. Grenade roll. somewhere in that base. I find it incredible that those myopic Red Legion ignorami did not realize they were drilling directly into a war mine vault. Stranger things happen every day. <laughs> Like we're going in here. I'm detecting a spike in paracausal energy. Sterile neutrino particles have quintupled. He means watch out for the taken. You should hire a translator. Look, this nigga don't know what English is. I just turned on the TV on um, turn down the volume on the TV and turn up the volume on my uh, mic. I have to say, this gun does really sound sexy. It just flows so well. Look at that, that insta-kill, that's like one second. Oh, 
Oh, he gave him a protective shield. Shit. I would love to explain the story on the Taken, but I don't want to talk for that long. Long story short, Taken, made by Oryx, he took, he literally took enemy races and made his own army. He just took them. He opened up this and he just, like he used his hand. Like he took his hat, like he didn't use like physically put his hand through the taken wrist and take them. He just pulled him through the taken wrist and kidnapped him. That's all he did. And then gave them the power of darkness. And now they're taken. to see Rasputin, or is this some other war mind? There is only one war mind, but Rasputin is not here on Io. I believe he's been marooned on Earth ever since his network fragmented. Whoa, the drill's on. What? Lift it up before it collapses the war mind fault. That's the question I had. Is this some other war mind? Apparently not. It's just Rasputin. My dog. Who are you trying to bitch now? Why catch this head? Finally. Let's get down to the vault. I'll let y'all do it here. Oh shit, I'm literally pierced. I will ask Zavala, can you tell me in Zedijules the Almighty's expected destructive capacity? And he will say, no, Asher, I cannot, because I am a reckless fool. I love this guy, he's actually hilarious. Ignore, Asher. Find the war mine. He's too intelligent for his own good. This is just like Earth, though. It's just like abandoned and like looks like shit. But it's so dope. Woo. 
just like Earth. But that's new. And this is new. You know what? Um, Rifle Gaming, the savior to uh, the Xbox community for uh, for carries. He did a video where he, in Destiny 1, he came to the same room in the Rasputin mission, came towards the Rasputin, you know, data center, and he glitched under the Rasputin area, because this originally was all, it was all sealed. As you can see, the door is open, but it was sealed previously in Destiny 1. And since we're on a different planet and we're in Destiny 2, they showed us this, but I've already seen this before from Destiny 1, because in Destiny 1, all of this was already made. It wasn't made with all these, these panels specifically, but the layout. The layout with all this layout, these seats, everything else. And basically, if you turn the lights off, you just see an empty frame. So I gotta thank Rifle Gaming for that, because that was... It was very interesting to see because I did yes. not know there was an area under Rasputin. And by looking at this, I really think that Rasputin is something more. Take a bold move. If we die, we die. Not good enough. Gonna have to do it for a fashion one. To be honest, I did not waste really money that much. Waste the tentative. Nope, we gotta go under. magnetic flux tubes what if Savala blows up the Almighty it'll take the Sun with it it's time I rejoined my fire team 
Cutscene. Red Legion's cutscene. Oh, shh. What makes your guardians worthy of the light? What is the price of such power and immortality? Devotion. Self-sacrifice. Death. Death. Explain. Devotion inspires bravery. Bravery inspires sacrifice. Sacrifice leads to death. Death. So, feel free to kill yourself. Get in Devotion. <laughs> Sacrifice. I was born an outcast. A runt. As is custom with the Cabal, I was cast aside and left for dead. I was taken in by an old scholar himself, disgraced. Who saw in me something redeemable? He raised me, taught me, trained me, and in return, I would become a vehicle for his revenge against an empire that failed him, that failed itself. Rejection, ridicule, torment, it made me stronger. I gave everything to win, not just acceptance, but glory. Beneath my mask, Sticker, is the face of devotion and sacrifice. I will not take the light by force. To do so would be to admit failure, and I never fail. Now, do you see? Why I will be chosen. I see now. I see all that you have done. Our operation on the Jovian room was a success. Once the cage is complete, we will have everything we need to begin the process of extracting the light. Dominus. Everything we've worked for is here, for the taking. All that remains is your word. No, this is not the way, old friend. But it is the way. The only way. Not for me. I have to say, when the Cabal kidnapped the Speaker, it really gave this story life. It gave it depth. It gave the story meaning, and I really do have to applaud for that idea, because Bungie does really appreciate and really wants to take care of the Destiny story and wants us to learn everything about Destiny. I really have to thank for this game. Great game.
What's my name? Good enough, unfortunately. Yes. Don't you have some treasure to hunt? Go to the farm, see what's up. We still gotta gain one level. I think the next mission is the level 16 mission. And we're gonna have to wait for that. So really what you're saying is, we're damned if we do, damned if we don't. On the contrary. Now that we are together again, we just might stand a chance. The fact is, if we destroy that weapon, we will ignite a chain reaction that could send our son into a supernova. Well, at least we have each other. Indeed. We all know what needs to be done. The Traveler must be freed. I'm thinking the three of us and a big fat pile of explosives can get the job done. Look, I still have that Vex teleporter. It's got a limited range, so we'll have to get a little too close for comfort. Then we get inside the city walls for it to be effective. But without the light, an outright assault on the wall is doomed to fail. We could... There will be no coming back. It's worth it. How do we get in? You know... The city wall is kind of like this barn. Plenty of places to slip in unseen, so long as you know how. You sure you're not one of my hunters? <laughs> not really into capes. Clearly. Nice poncho. You need to get your team into the city without raising any alarms. My people and I can help you do that. We also happen to be pretty good at shooting bad guys. Hawthorne, it's one thing for us to put our lives on the line, but this doesn't have to be your fight. You're not a... A guardian? You think you've cornered the market on sacrifice? You forget that we've had to survive without the light all our lives. Once upon a time, that big white ball in the sky was there for all of us. I think it's about time we return the favor. Guardians or not. That's great speech and all, but let's not forget about the whole supernova and complete annihilation thingy. If we can't destroy the Almighty, we'll have to disable its weapon. And that means getting a certain Guardian on board. We'll need a good disguise if we're going to fly right through a Cabal Armada. If it's a Cabal ship you need, there's a base nearby full of them. But it won't be easy sneaking in. Oh, we're done sneaking. If there's one thing I've learned from Cade, it's the value of a grand entrance. This is great. Anyone want a hug? Hugs? No? No hugs.
All right, well, we are one hour into the stream, and I believe we are still level 15. Yep, we are. And I believe the next mission is level 16, so Welcome to it's a little gap. All right, I guess. Thanks for shopping Eververse, Guardian. No problem, Tess. Remember that Cabal base round the way? One of Gaul's buddies runs it. Bloodguard by the name of Thumos. We know he's got access to the Almighty. So you crash the base, steal Thumos' ship, use it to sneak aboard the Almighty, and shut it down before it can blow up our sun. Do me a favor. Put Thumos down while you're at it. When you give the signal, we move on the city. Take it back. Gotta say, I really didn't think you'd come back from your interplanetary jaunt, much less with the Vanguard by your side. Look at us. Red Legion doesn't stand a chance. The Vala is here, that's right. Yeah, they're all here. So I can do probably one strike and then I'll be caught up to 16. As of today, I'm reauthorizing strike operations. Strikes will serve as the backbone of our defense against our enemies, present and future. We'll hunt down priority targets, gather intelligence on our enemies, and undermine plots against humanity. This nigga is small. To show everyone, guardian and civilian Jesus alike, Christ. what courage really looks like. But this isn't a solo detail. You'll need a dependable fire team to back you up. And what is it that Cage says? Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> That's Get what you say at work. Make us proud. You yes, learn. As you will. Losing the light was devastating. We were careless. I was careless. I took my power for granted. Never again wherever you go seek out experiences that truly challenge you force yourself to grow never be satisfied if anything dares to come between you and the light destroy it let every victory sharpen your mind and body and show our enemies a guardian's wrath yes man I assume it's Hey, you ever figure procrastination is your brain's way of stopping you from making a terrible mistake? Yeah, me too. See, I volunteered to set up our patrol network, and I haven't done it yet. Because what if I screw it up, you know? It's so important. We use that network to run ops all over the system. Supply run, recon, you name it. So I'm thinking, what am I going to do? But here you are. So competent. So diligent, so ready to do things the right way. I guess what I'm trying to say is, save me from myself. Don't make it worth your while. All right, I think I'm gonna. Well, I could stream a strike. But it's mainly for the story. I'm mainly doing this for the story. Take time. So for now, I'm going to call it. I'm going to do two strikes and we'll come back. Finish off the story. My mind is in the Actually, I don't think I can finish up the story tonight. Maybe I should call it and do it again tomorrow. I'll get myself prepared for tomorrow. I'm going to do that. So for now... What can I say? You know where you are. You know why you're here. You know what we're doing. I'm out. Peace.